I'm here pit side with Jan Kukowski. Um, close to 14 k so I didn't think there was too much between the teams today. No, uh, obviously the early goal is, is a bit of a, a killer for us. Uh, I just felt it really deflated us after a really positive opening couple of minutes where we've had a couple of good chances and they've produced two fantastic blocks. Um, and if one of those flies in, I think the whole atmosphere around the place changes rather than being a little bit deflated from, from their early goal. Ghosted in really from, from midfield, I thought, in that opening couple of minutes. Yeah, unfortunately, um, we didn't shuffle across quick enough and we allowed that ball into the channel. Uh, and then when you get there, you've got to try and keep them wide and, and stop them from coming inside. Um, the lads obviously chopped Oren and, and then played a good cut back. Um, we've got to track the runner uh, and it's a good finish. Good possession football, I thought, at times from Hereford, but it's just no end product. Yeah, look, we've had uh, lots of half chances today, um, but again, people reluctant to pull the trigger um, mm. or in and around the edge of the box. Um, so someone's got to going to want to be the person to step up uh, and, and be the main man and take all the headlines. Um, so, yeah, look, we'll, we'll keep working. We'll keep trying to get players to be confident in those areas of the pitch and, and work opportunities to finish. Um, but I think that's going to need a bit more time on the training ground. How much is that side down to self-confidence and not being to cock the trigger and, and get a shot away? Yeah, well, uh, it's not something that I've, I've seen in training. I think lads are... Um, hitting the back end regularly. We're doing a lot of attacking work because we know that's been an Achilles heel for us uh, this season is, is scoring goals in, uh, and hitting the target more so and working opposition goalkeepers. Um, so we're doing loads of finishing exercises, finishing under pressure, transition games to try and um, get the boys to finish in different scenarios uh, and some of the quality has been outstanding. So when we come to a Saturday, um, obviously something needs to be looked at a little bit differently. And Jethro Hansen, glorious chance, a pivotal moment for me. Momentum shift had he scored. Uh, he didn't, it was over the bar, that was so close. Yeah, he got himself into a good position. Um, we, we've asked him to try and be a little bit more adventurous at the right time. Um, he, he had a good contact with the ball, but just too much. So, uh, you know, if he, if he, minimum we want him there is to hit the target, try and work the goalkeeper. Uh, and then hopefully things like that might spark the crowd into life um, by their keeper having to make a good save. And, and that's when confidence starts filling to the boys when you're you know, you know, creating chances is more so than not. And what, what did you make of the, of the penalty award? Because uh, Orin Pendley put his body on the line and it was, what, three yards away from him? Could he have got out of the way? Yeah. I don't think he could. Yeah, look, it's really difficult to get out of the way of those. He's been brave and, and produced a decent block. Uh, it looked like it went into Orin's armpit area more than a flay in an arm. But, you know, I find it difficult to understand how else he can try and block um, and by keeping his hands down by his side the way he was. So, yeah, maybe a little bit unfortunate on, on that one, um, but it was given. How are you finding it in, in, in the caretaker position now? That's your, obviously your first defeat. Um, how are you looking at it overall? Yeah, look, it's been a, a thoroughly enjoyable experience. Uh, obviously, it's a it's great experience for myself in, in helping my own development. Um, and, and it's been an outstanding uh, period for myself and the group of players. It's other than today, uh, the, the place has been you know, really jovial in the, the confidence around the group. It has been very good and, and the players have given me absolutely everything. So no complaints in that regard. Uh, just a little bit flat today and that is the low point so far. Obviously, Jared was, was talking about, you know, he's got to play get minutes under his belt really and he's left, left much of it to, to you. How are you finding that? Yeah, look, that's fine. Um, I'm doing the best I can for the, for the club, um, but it's not just me, it's, it's the rest of the staff, they're all stepping up. Uh, Jarrah's doing a fantastic job trying to, to play and help myself as well, which I've obviously had experience with that um, with other various roles at this football club, so I've tried to give him a bit of advice um, with regard to that, but you know, he continues to set standards for us um, in terms of his own play and obviously his voice around the dressing room. Now, I've, I've seen it with Hereford, scenarios over the years you've got to go to the table toppers on Tuesday at Fylde and it can happen that could be a real challenge and a big motivator for the squad to say look we, we can go toe to toe with the top teams yeah and we've, we've done that uh, in the time that I've been at the football club we always seem to to rise to the occasion um, we always compete with the, the so-called stronger size in the division with, with big budgets so we'll go there trying to win the game like we do every game um, it'll be a difficult evening but um, I'm full of belief that the players can bounce back like we have done on other occasions throughout the season and finally any knocks or injuries that might keep players out of that one um, yeah not noticed any today uh, Miles has taken a, a bang on his foot so he's got a, quite a deep gash um, we unfortunately had a, a really difficult injury in training on Thursday to Jack Evans um, he's had a significant elbow dislocation and arm break, uh, and yeah, you know the group's you know hit hard by that in terms of how love Jack is. You know he's a real bubbly character around the place. Um, he's a he's a fan's favourite here. The way he plays, that forward thrust, uh, that energy and enthusiasm. So for him to unfortunately have that uh, that injury uh, and 
and to be seen lying on the floor that was, was tough to take for the group. So um, we'll, we'll be wishing Jack all the best in his recovery uh, and hopefully he gets back on the pitch as soon as possible. And another integral part, Ryan Lloyd, what's the latest there? Yeah, again, probably just the game just come too soon. So we're hoping for Tuesday. Um, didn't quite settle down as much as we would have liked. Um, so, yeah, hoping that, uh, that Ryan can train on Monday um, and look to, to be back involved for that game. Well, good luck on that one. Thank you very much. Dan Jarvis was missing as well today. Yeah, he, uh, he came off with suspected cramp uh, last Saturday. Um, unfortunately, he might have just had a bit of a, um, a neural issue, which, again, hasn't settled down like Ryan. So hopefully, again, he'll be back in contention to, uh, for Tuesday night. Um, I thought we missed his quality on the ball this afternoon. I think that was probably the, the big factor. We, we didn't quite have the quality, which is you know, something we don't say too often about this group of players because they've got it in abundance. What's the latest, what's the time scale on sort of the crew and the new manager? Have you been told how long you've got the interim role for? Yeah, not, not something I, I know of. Um, I'll just do my best uh, in, in the meantime. Uh, and then when the club's uh, had any information to, to give to myself and the players, I'm sure they'll do that at the earliest opportunity. And do you fancy the role? Have you not applied or do you know? No, I've not applied for the role, no. Thank you very much.